with y'all. Can y'all talk to your girl? Let me know in the comments, like, how are you doing, really? We're gonna go on a walk around the neighborhood. Spend your Mondays with Monet. It's Monet Mondays. Welcome back. What's up? It's Monet Monday. Today's vlog is gonna be a little different. Not a little different, y'all should be used to this, but today we're doing a check-in vlog. It's gonna be short and quick and to the point, I think. And we're just gonna go on a walk. Let's just talk about some random things that's going on. What's going on with y'all? Can y'all talk to your girl? One of the, my favorite YouTubers, he made a vlog today that I watched in it. The title was, I wanna quit. And I was like, oh, every day I wanna quit. But I just thought it was so interesting because from the outside looking in, he seems to be doing very well. And he is doing very well, but he was like, sometimes I just want to give up. And like, literally, because he's in Berlin right now, but he was like, sometimes I just want to give up, go home, and just like do nothing. And I feel that every day. And I, I haven't even reached nowhere near where I'm trying to go. My consistency level and my discipline is not where I want to be. And I feel that every single day. It, it made me feel a little bit encouraged because let's be real. Sometimes, um, like, you know, the, the people that you like look up to or that you see doing something that you wanna do, it feels unattainable. And it just feels like they're always on go. They're always organized. They're always happy. They're not always happy, but they're always like productive. And he was basically saying, nah, y'all, I be going through too. And it just made me, and even though you, you know those things, I need to hear that today because I was finna go get in my bed. But, so that was really cool to watch today. It was motivating that like, you are not alone. Your struggle is not just your struggle. We are all struggling. I have not done my hair today. And honestly, truly, is it a day where I'm not doing my hair? Next subject, black women in hair. Why can't we go around looking like this? I feel like other races wake up and they leave out the house with a messy bun and don't nobody say nothing to them. Today, we make a change. We go outside with our messy bun. Edges aren't laid. Ooh, hopefully I don't run into a man. But hopefully, see, that's another thing. I'm all over the place. So to end that subject, it's like black women, I stand with you. Any hairstyle you wear, I stand with you. If you wanna wear your hair messy, you wanna wear it straight, you wanna wear it in locks, you wanna wear it short, you wanna wear it long, I stand with you. cute style I stand with you anyway so now that that's off I'm standing with myself and I'm going out with this messy bun I'm not doing my edges I'm not doing my kitchen I'm not doing nothing and if anybody got a problem with it they can take it up with the board because that's the only person I listen to let's go on this one y'all content creators be like Chapter four, am I seen? Have you ever felt like you don't matter? That you exist in a world that doesn't see you? Everywhere I go, I meet people who tell me they're struggling to be accepted as themselves. Thank you. 
My check-in is that I am still being active. I am down in weight, which is really good. I'm already sexy. I'm still sexy like this, but it's like I'm going to meet my sexy, healthy, active self again because baby, when you ain't active, funny-ish story. I saw a family member the other day and she saw me and I knew this was going to come because every time I see her, if I gain weight, she will definitely let me know. We all, we all got them family members that be like, girl, and we need them sometimes, but sometimes we don't need them. Because weight can, it can slip away from you real fast, especially when you got everything else going on to be like, I am not worried about my weight. So sometimes we need those family members to check in and be like, you gaining weight? But it was so funny because even though I know she means well, when she came in to hug you, she just did a silent, no. I don't even think she realized that she did that. But I was just like, oh my God, I really got to get together because <laughs> my heart. But anyway, so that just made me feel like stay active, get you together. And plus my hands be swelling and my feet be swelling up so bad when I take long walks these days. And it never used to be like that. And I don't think that's a thing of, I don't think it's a internal, or I should say, I don't think it's a health condition, but I think it's like that my body is heavy. I don't know. I need to probably look that up, but I also haven't been to the doctor this year. So I probably need to do a yearly checkup. Let's add that to my check-in. And I hope y'all doing y'all yearly checkup. If you don't have insurance, go get state insurance, y'all. It's really not that hard. I've had state insurance. I just got off state insurance. It's been four years, but still. Three or four years. Three years. But health insurance is really easy to get. So health insurance shouldn't be an excuse because Obamacare is very real and it really works. And they have great health benefits and great doctors. So definitely recommend already. And I will do that as well. So the next time we check in, hopefully I have scheduled appointment. What else do we have to talk about, y'all? Life is just it's feeling a lot more peaceful these days. I feel like I was telling my friends this, but I've just come to grips with God's plan and I'm just feeling real at peace. I've been feeling real at peace for the last month and I feel like it's showing. God's been talking to me in so many different ways and it's all been a good chat. A little bit of sternness and a little chastising, but nothing like super crazy. I ain't been been acting off the rails. So I had to get straightened out a couple times, but nothing too crazy. So like I said, I've been at peace. Things have been going crazy and I feel like a breakthrough is on the way. I'm in the midst of transitioning and I'm excited about that. And I can't wait to see what's next. This little spot I'm in is so cute, so cozy. Oh my gosh, the fact that they added these fans outdoors is fire. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I want to tell y'all about it, but I also don't want a whole bunch of people to come out here and then it be messy and crazy looking, even though I don't think it will, but because they have security over here. But y'all don't be littering and stuff. If you do litter, don't litter. Come on. I don't care your age, size, whatever. Don't litter. Be, let's be nice to the earth. Let me get back up and start walking again. I think this might be the closeout of the chat today, y'all. I'm keeping it real short, real sweet, because it's Monet Monday. I can do what I want, right? As long as I'm keeping y'all updated. I hope y'all are really doing well. If you aren't, I would just say take some time for yourself and just even if it's three minutes and just really get still. Don't do nothing on your phone. Don't even touch your phone. Don't talk to nobody. Don't answer no calls for three minutes. Give yourself three minutes of just self-reflection or just self-soothing and enjoy those three minutes with yourself. I'm going to set a timer. Let's go three minutes of enjoyment starting now. Love y'all.